starting 22nd September 2023, the GRE General Test, which is the world's biggest admission test for graduate business and law programs, is going to have a new format. This has been announced by ETS, which is the official body for conducting the GRE exam. So what is this new format and how is it going to change your preparation? Well, let's find out. Hi everyone, I am Neha Grival. I'm the founder of Wise of Communications and in this video we are going to talk all about the revised GRE exam format. For those of you who are new to this exam format, the GRE general test consists of three sections. Verbal reasoning, quantitative reasoning and analytical writing section. Now the biggest change that is happening in this exam is that the new test format will consist of 46 lesser questions in the verbal reasoning and quantitative reasoning sections combined and only one analytical writing task as compared to two in the previous version. Due to this, the test can now be completed in less than two hours, which earlier used to take up to four hours. Also the best part, the question type remains the same. So if you've already started prepping for it, don't worry because it's not going to affect your preparation strategy. Now let's take a look at the section wise changes. Verbal reasoning will now consist of two sections with a total of 27 questions and the time allotted to attempt them is 41 minutes. Earlier, verbal reasoning used to consist of two sections with a total of 40 questions and time given was one hour. So if you see, nearly one third of the questions have been removed. Now one doubt that you may have here is whether the time to attempt these questions has been reduced. Well, that's not true because if you do simple math, you still have nearly a minute and a half to attempt these questions, which was the same case in the previous format as well. Another good thing about this new format is that the question types still remain the same. Earlier, as part of verbal reasoning, the question types were reading comprehension, text completion and sentence equivalence. And that still remains the same with the same level of difficulty for these questions as earlier. Similar to verbal reasoning, quantitative reasoning is also going to consist of two sections with a total of 27 questions and the time allotted to attempt them is 47 minutes. Earlier, quantitative reasoning section was very similar to verbal where you also had two sections with 20 questions each which resulted in a total of 40 questions that had to be attempted in one hour. Here in the new format, for quantitative reasoning, the question types still remain the same. The question types for quantitative reasoning were quantitative comparison, multiple choice, numeric entry and data interpretation and they all still remain the same. Now the biggest change is happening in the analytical writing section where earlier this section used to consist of two tasks of 30 minutes each and so the total time allotted to attempt this section was one hour. The first task was analyze an issue where you were given a topic and then you had to share your opinion whether you agreed or disagreed with it by giving supporting arguments and examples. The second task was analyze an argument where you had to evaluate whether the argument was logically sound or not based on the instructions given. In the new test format, this second task has been completely scrapped off, which means now in the analytical writing section, you will only have one task, which is analyzing an issue for 30 minutes. And here the pattern to attempt this task, the pattern to attempt this question will also remain exactly the same as before. Apart from this, what they've done is they've completely gotten rid of the unscored section, which was just added by ETS for research purposes. The scores of this were never added to the final report. So this section itself used to consist of 20 questions from verbal and quantitative reasoning and used to take 30 to 35 minutes. So now you will not have this section in the new test format anymore. So to summarize, from 22nd September 2023, this is how the new test format section-wise breakup is going to look like. Nearly 46 questions have been removed from the quantitative and verbal reasoning sections and one entire writing task has been removed, bringing the test time to less than two hours. Of course, if you need more details, you should always visit the official GRE website. I've linked it down in the description below for you. Now that you've understood the new GRE pattern, I'm sure you have some burning questions. Like what is going to be the new scoring system? What about the university cutoffs? Is it going to change after the new GRE pattern? What about my preparation strategy? What do I need to do about it now? 
So to answer your question, there is absolutely no change in the scoring pattern. You will still score out of 170 for quant and 170 for verbal, making it a total of 340 as earlier. Similarly, for the analytical writing section, you will still score out of 6. Now, when it comes to difficulty level of the exam, it still remains the same. So the universities are not changing their cutoff scores. It will also remain the same as before the change. Finally, for your preparation strategy, because the question type remain the same, the time duration to attempt these questions remain the same, you don't have to do anything regarding your preparation strategy. In fact, if you've been preparing for the long format, then you can easily prepare for the shorter format as well. The best part about this change is that your score reports will now be generated in 8 to 10 days, which earlier used to take nearly 10 to 15 days. So you can send your reports to the universities much faster. Also, as part of this test, you get four free test reports to send to the universities. So before attempting this exam, make sure you shortlist your university so that these test reports don't go for a waste. Finally, all these changes will be effective from 22nd September 2023. So if you have a test date booked after 22nd September and you want to finish the test in the current or in the old format, then in that case, you can reschedule your test for free. But on the other hand, if you have a test date right now, like before 22nd September and you want to give it after 22nd in the new format, then you can also do so, but with a small rescheduling fee. Now, if you have any other questions regarding the changes, the new pattern of the test, etc. GRE has prepared an FAQ document, which I'm linking in the description below for you, which answers most of your doubts and queries. After you've given your GRE and TOEFL exams, if you need any help with writing your essays, that is your SOP and LORs, then you can reach out to me. We offer two study abroad programs. In the first program, we teach you how to write these admission essays, share multiple examples from top universities for you. And then in the second program, we review your SOP or LORs for you and make them ready for submission. So guys, that's all I wanted to share with you today. If you have any questions regarding the new GRE test, you can put them down in the comments below and I will answer them for you. And now, thank you so much for watching this video and I wish you all the best for your GRE preparation.